Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can deposit funds to your Binance account using a wire transfer so that you can start making those sweet purchases of the crypto assets that you wish to own. So for this tutorial, I'll be using my Binance mobile application to demonstrate this to you guys. And the type of fiat currency that I'm sending over will be US dollars. All right, now I'm on my Binance mobile application. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to wallets. And I'm going to click over here on deposit. And as you can see over here, we can either deposit cryptocurrencies directly, in which case you will be actually getting an address corresponding to each of the different cryptocurrency that you're trying to deposit. But in this case, since you're trying to deposit fiat, we can click over here. And you can see quite an extensive list of different fiat currencies that you can actually deposit. Now, this keeps on updating from time to time. And as you can see, depositing some of the currencies have been put on hold. For an example, you cannot directly deposit uh, Canadian dollars at the moment. As you can see, it has been suspended. But these things actually do change from time to time. So it would be wise to actually check from time to time in case if your own fiat currency is actually not present over here or it has been suspended temporarily at the moment. So in my case, I'm going to deposit US dollars. So I'm going to scroll down. And right over here, you can see the option USD. So I'm going to click over here. And basically for me, the only available option is a bank transfer in the form of a telegraphic transfer. We also call that a SWIFT transfer. So what you'll be getting is a SWIFT code corresponding to a specific bank. And you can initiate that wire transfer from your own local bank. So I'm going to click continue. And over here, we have to enter the amount that we are trying to deposit. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that once this transfer is successful, you're going to receive an equivalent amount in Binance USD. Well, Binance USD is a stable coin in case if you didn't know. It's a very widely established and a very widely used stable coin. So for example, if I were to maybe deposit 6000 USD, for example, you can see that it indicates that I'll be receiving 6000 BUSD. Now, this is totally fine with me because in case if you want to convert this Binance USD into another stable coin like USDC or USDT, you can simply do that within Binance app itself. So that's not going to be a problem at all. And you can see that the transaction fee is actually basically zero BUSD. So you'll be not charged anything by Binance for making this deposit into your wallet. However, guys, something to keep in mind is that there will be some charges from your own bank because usually for doing a SWIFT transfer or a telegraphic transfer, a certain amount is actually typically charged from your own bank. It's not going to be a big amount, usually about 10 US dollars, which also might vary uh, depending on the bank, but the figure is not going to be far from that. So I'm going to click continue over here. When you do this transfer, you have to make sure that the name that you're using in your bank account should be the same name that you have used to create your Binance account. If there's a discrepancy between the two names, then most likely they will reject this transfer. So the wise thing to do would be to actually make this transfer from your own accounts, but not using any other accounts that probably might belong to your friends or family members. So that's the first thing. And the second thing is fairly simple. You just have to make sure that when you're doing this transfer, you have to put in the special reference code the, or the unique reference code that Binance will be actually giving you so that it'll be easy for them to identify that this particular transfer actually belongs to you. So if I click OK over here, what you can see is basically the bank account details that you're supposed to use when you're doing this transfer. So the beneficiary account name is Key Vision Development Limited. You have the bank account number and the address and this is a SWIFT code corresponding to this bank. Signature Bank is actually one of the crypto friendly banks located in the US. So you can use this information. And again, just keep in mind that you enter this particular reference code that's going to be unique for your individual case when you are doing this deposit. And in case if you're wondering where exactly you need to put this uh, reference code, it actually depends on different banks. In some banks, they name it as beneficiary account description or in some banks, they might actually name it as the reference code or something of similar nature. So you can simply fill that in along with this other information. And guys, in my case, I deposited 6,000 US dollars into my Binance wallet. And once you have initiated the transfer, it might take about three to four days for the transfer to get executed. And 
Once Binance receives your USD amount, they will actually send you a notification like this saying that your deposit has been received and an equivalent amount of BUSD will be released to you instantly. So guys, that wraps up this video. I hope the steps were quite clear for you guys. But if you do have any questions, you can actually add a comment down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you do like this kind of content, you can always consider subscribing to this channel as well. In that way, you'll be notified instantly as soon as we publish a new video on this channel. So thanks a lot for watching guys. I'll see you again with another video very soon.